where does the like that guy the caller the Costco Kevin or whatever that guy's name was where does this guy get his information about you know this is all junk science that we are involved in that um now he says infowars and his local fox affiliate i believe it's that also, it's also possible he's watching tucker carlson because tucker carlson is now trying to argue that there is no evidence the lockdown saved lives um contrary to i mean look there's no there's no way you can't run an experiment right against because Every city is different. Uh, if you have uh, more subway exposure, but we do know that California locked down before uh, New York, that San Francisco did, and they had less deaths. But here is Tucker Carlson explaining that there's absolutely no evidence. Well, that may be the case because I don't know how you could have evidence, but here it is. Closing every business except grocery stores forces a lot of people into a small space. Is that a good idea? There are a lot of potential problems. We don't know all of the answers. Someday we'll have a better understanding of the science behind quarantines. We should have had it before we imposed them. But for now, here's what you need to know and what they're not going to tell you. There is, as of tonight, precisely no evidence that the lockdowns in America saved lives anywhere. In fact, it's possible that mass quarantines killed people. Well, I mean, A, there's the evidence of like when cities lock down earlier, they save more lives. But I guess, you know, again, that's apples and oranges. There are computer simulations by people in Columbia University. Critical, I guess, if you could interpret this, of Democratic administrations, right? State and the city saying that had uh, New York locked down two weeks earlier, something like 30,000 lives could have been saved. I mean, I guess if that's not evidence, like then there's no evidence that could exist. How would you prove this? No, he wants us to create a tear in reality and travel to an alternate timeline where we didn't do any lockdowns and then we'll really have some hard data for him. That's right. But then we'd have to circle back around and do it, right? It's I mean, such a- it'd be a lot of work. It's such a gross business proposition for these guys because they their whole like what their messaging is like we don't want anybody who's going to be adversely affected by this. Uh, we're going to continue casting to the people who aren't and don't plan to be. And if this does affect you, you probably won't be like a follower of us after that. But we'll be good with the audience of very comfortable people that like have been insulated from all of the negative effects of what our broadcasting does. I I think the I think that's right. I think the bet is. I'm going to talk to all the people who paid money for fire insurance and their house didn't burn. And I'm going to say like, there's no evidence that you were protected at all by that fire insurance. None whatsoever. That's the argument. I think that they are relying on that. They're going to hit those people and the rest are going away again. 